Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video of Monster Train with me, Penta Hybrid. Oh my god. Last time, we absolutely, I mean, well, I wouldn't say destroyed, but we did a very good job. We were a good job. Pat yourself on the back. We did a good job as the Stygian, the new champion. Dude's absolutely beautiful. I don't remember his name. Uh... God, a Covenant 21. Major bosses have increased HP. I want to get to 25, win a 25, and then, I don't know. I just don't feel like staying on 25. It feels... it just It's just boring to me. But I do want to get to 25. And I want to see what this little unlucky boy is. But anyway, we're going to be jumping into another run as the new champ of the Umbra. Primordium. Buffet. This unit can be eaten multiple times. Wait, people are going to eat my champion? Add this unit to the eater. Damage and toughness to the eater. Deal one damage to a random enemy unit twice. Slay. Add a common or uncommon morsel unit to your hand. This is going to be very strange. And we're going to go random uh, allied clan as well. This is going to be weird. Barrels of Production, it's a decent card. Vine Grasp die, times two is pretty good. We are Alt Awoken. And uh, Prison Retrieval, I'm not a big fan of. I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of it. Diligent is... Consume. Okay, so we got Consumer Boy. And we have Arcus, who is the guy that summons the Dark Shards. Great. Finally, we're at a Crucible Cup. We have a win streak of one. Lol. Oh my god. We have Root Seeds, which are just damage and draw. The, I, I have a feeling this is not going to go well. Sting Spells with Piercing, I think, is just better here. Okay. <laughs> Superfood. Buff A3, Eaten, add this unit's... Damage, toughness, and status effects to the eater. Buffet 3, eaten, and add this unit's damage and toughness to the eater. So his aggressive edible does not get any... Well, superfood, I guess, because it actually adds something? What is going... Am I going to be feeding my champion? Am I feeding my champion to my units and he gets to get eaten three different times basically as like an alternate stat upgrade? Is that what I'm dealing with here? I don't know what's happening, but I want to put you in front of you I want to give you some superfoods. Wait, so that means you have to be in front if I want you to be eaten. I'm playing this wrong. I am playing this wrong. God dang it. We're going to take damage here unnecessarily. May even die. Yeah, this was a bad, bad start. I don't care about a win streak. I want to learn this freaking guy. What ha What is this shit? <laughs> we got Talos, Arcus, and Consume, Sarah. We got Pack Morsels, Crucible Extension, and Tombed. We're at Melting, okay. So it's not the same secondary claim, which is kind of what I was hoping, but that's okay. Because we started with two Entombed Explosives, I am going to take the Encased Ember, even though I think Flicker's Liquor is way better. Uh, longevity here is going to be in the benefit of this. Buffet 5. Yeah, let's, 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 let's do it. Buffet 5. He's a 3-3. Three, three. That's going to get freaking nommed. Munchy Crunchies. By my dudes. But this is a weird combination, because I don't want to feed... I don't want to feed a dreg because the dreg's going to die anyway from burnout. 
Let, let's figure this out. You go here. You go here. He did just take his, his stat effects. He's an 811 now. Oh my gosh. Og. Extremely dangerous. <laughs> I just, I just like, are you? You're just like supposed to take damage on this character? Is that the deal here? Just supposed to take damage on this dude, I guess? I don't freaking know. Clink, clink, clink. He's officially gone, but my guy's massive. I win. <laughs> Head exploded. I, I just... Mind collapse. Reform because we can maybe reform our munchie boy. We're gonna take a, a first floor overgorger and we're gonna overgorge our champion. <laughs> I, 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 sure. I don't want to give endless anybody. I would love multi strike. Give this guy a little tankiness, I guess. I don't even want to spend that money, honestly. I'd rather just wait for multi-strike, honestly. Unit draft? Sure. I don't freaking know, guys. It's gonna be weird, but if I can if I can feed my my overgorger, my champion. We just gotta hope this bops one of the guys in the back. It did. I'm a genius. I can't be stopped. Okay, <laughs> you just go up there. <laughs> sure. I don't win. Oh, damn it. I'm not gonna have room for an entombed explosive here. Uh, I did upstairs, but hopefully I'll get him back here. I didn't, but we win anyway, so. I don't know, I just, <laughs> I'm just losing my mind right now, guys. Yeah, Shroud Mitosis is a great card. Uh, skip. I don't. I, I'd love to take another Tube Explosive. I. I don't want to take another Gorger. I don't. Uh. I want to get one Gorger extremely strong. Maybe I do take a second Gorger. I'll have one Gorger with my Champ. And then I'll have one Gorger I can Shroud Mitosis with some big boys. And I have to go this way, mostly just because we need the, the higher health, but also because I need to get Multi-Strike. Or, I need to get something, you know? Ooh. I'd actually take the money, weirdly enough. I know I just 
I'm only coming out of there even, and I took five damage, but I don't want that. I don't need it. We're not going to be up... There it is. We're not going to be applying... Uh... We're not going to be applying... I don't need to reroll here. I guess I do want to purge one stew. We're not going to be applying uh, burnout, is what I'm trying to say. And dying, trying to say it. This is going to be a tough fight. This is going to be a weird fight because I don't... This guy just attacks all the time and their guys come in with rage. I don't know how to... Oof, that's not good. Well, we're gonna have to put another Gorger up top. Which means that these guys are gonna die. Put that guy up front. So we will be taking capacity. Oh, god damn it, are you kidding me? I put one extra one up there. I'm so upset right now. Become big. If I recall correctly, these guys no morsels no longer count as harvest. This music is so good, though. You know, let's be real here. This music is extremely good. Our overgorger is gonna die. Twenty-four damage. If I kill, I get mana. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything for me here. I'm a little burnt, bummed out. Yeah, this is real tough, man. Holy crap! This is not an easy champ, man. I'm I'm gonna lose here. There's no way. I mean, it's only been 13 minutes. I gotta try again, but like, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? I got two overgorgers on floor one and I still couldn't win. <laughs> I mean, don't give me melting. Give me freaking. Uh, Basic Awoken? I don't know. No, nah, give me... I don't... I don't freaking... Give me... Give me... Give me something. Engine upgrade. Four pack morsels. Lifesteal 2 is not great, but... Sure, yeah. I'll take that one. This guy seems, like, in compare, I'm not going to say he's bad, because I've only played with him one time or two times or whatever. Uh, in comparison to Penumbra, who is just, like, by far disgustingly, one of the most disgustingly overpowered characters in the entire game. It, it's just, in the, when you compare the two, it's just so far... Like, easily, easily Penumbra. That's, like, stronger than everybody. I don't know if I need to use that.
I mean, I, I see the I see the the temptation to just put them there and get you guys beefier, but it's like that's such a silly. It's it's just it's such a silly champion. Like it's such a weird champion. Like it would be an interesting unit, but to be a champion, that's just so odd as a champion to be that way. It's intriguing. I do like it. But I don't know I don't know where I sit currently. I mean I am gonna upgrade the blinks. They seem pretty goddamn good. And I'm gonna make uh, Razor Sharp Edge free. I think it's an extremely valuable card for us right now. Given the fact that we're gonna be basically stat bouncing characters. Or stat bouncing units. I do want another unit, even though our we, we need to make our, our Animus of Will strong. Which is kind of like your go-to plan when you take an Animus of Will into your team. Uh, and so for that, because the top floor is there, I'm going to actually buff you like this. I can't really make our top floor useless, unfortunately. And it's kind of hilarious now that, uh... I chose armor. Honestly, just yeah, go with the mana. Wait, how did you die? Oh my god, in camp. I'm so upset. I'm so mad right now. I'm so, I'm so tilted off the face of the goddamn planet right now. I, I have nothing to do. Get chunky, my friend. Get chunky. I'm so tilted. I'm so tilted. This fucking champ is trash, man. Just die. Just, just, just. I, I don't care. Fuck, fuck everybody. I don't, I don't. Whatever. Let's start over. In 18 minutes. Like, at this point, I'm so tilted because if I get a full good run with him, it's going to be an hour long video. And I came into this expecting like a 35, 45 minute video, like a decent run or even a good loss because I have shit to do in like an, in like, <laughs> in like a half hour, but I'm not going to leave on that note. I'm absolutely not going to leave on that note. I will, there's a new one at the start of your turn. The front friendly unit on each floor gains five HP. That seems plenty good. I don't know if it's permanent or not, but it seems okay to me. What the hell? No, I'm not taking any challenges with this champion until I figure his ass out. I might drop... To learn this guy, I might drop down to Covenant 1 just to learn this son of a bitch. So put, put him there. Put a train steward in front of him. Blink. Pop. So like, I don't know if that's gains 5 health. Please. Really? I don't know if that's gains five health or if that's gains five max HP. I think he's just healing for five. But I don't know. But I honestly don't know. I won. No. Yes. 
even though you don't scale well at all and you're terrible, but. Give me an Umber unit. I'm neither Shadow, Shadow, Shadow Siege is not even possible. I don't like, what's the point of taking a Morsel Master? I'm trying to figure this out right now. What's the point of taking a Morsel Master? I guess Gem Troll being three is fine. I don't know, man. I hate this guy's lifesteal, he's terrible. And I'm gonna die. And forgive me for being tilted, but like I only get truly there's like three things that make me tilted in video games, and one of those things is not understanding what the game is trying to tell me. And I can say very confidently right now, this, the game is not trying to teach me what I want to know right now. Perhaps not at fault of the game, maybe at the fault of me. And it might just be me, but this dude seems like one of the worst design, design characters I've ever seen in a video game, and I don't want to just claim that and be wrong. Because I still think, very confidently, I still think that the, uh, the new Hellhorn champ is also quite terrible, but... I, I see what's going on. I see, I see the, the... I see what's good about him, is what I'm trying to say. I see what's good about this guy. And I get it. What I don't get... ...is how the scaling is supposed to work. Maybe it's not designed to start on... ...Covenant 20. <laughs> Covenant 20 or Covenant 21. Maybe it's definitely not designed to start on these, this Covenant, but... At some point, you're definitely supposed to get here with this character, because that's, that's how balance works, but... Maybe I'm starting with my hat, my, my shoes half full, but I shouldn't be. I really don't think I want any of this crap. I don't think I need it. I think I have too much crap that I don't even want to use in my deck. Like this, these, this deck is kind of kind of garbage right now. Big glimmer. I'm gonna give Animus of Will another try here with this this champ, even though she's not gaining ten every time now. Just give me rail sp give me spiders. Or just spell and get an upgraded one later. Give me an upgraded blink. Oh, at least we're fighting Daedalus. I can I can handle Day. Oh, I mean I shouldn't say that ahead of time. I don't know if I can handle Daedalus with this guy, but I can handle Daedalus on a normal run. On an average run, Daedalus ain't that big of a deal. It's kind of a pushover. Let's be real. However, this draw is atrocious. I'd actually rather have you die here, unfortunately. Because I am not playing my champ on the top floor when it has a capacity of four, unfortunately. Seems this is just this is just stupid. can't even eat each other. That's the problem here is I can't even play something in front of it now because they can't eat each other. 
And I can't kill my own dudes. Face tank, Daedalus, and see if we can win. No, we're not even dealing a single bit of damage here. <laughs> okay. You know what? Just, just take it, Daedalus. Just take it. This is your fight. This is your fight. You deserve this. I'm not gonna quit out on you. You deserve this. You got me. Fuck this champion. I'm not playing the alt champion of the Umbra. On coming in 21 until I learn how to learn. I learn, I learn how to play him. He seems god awful. He seems like maybe the worst thing I've seen. I might, I might dislike him more than the Hellhorn base champion. And that says a lot. This guy just. It's terrible. It's, it's, it's just bad. I don't want to like rant, 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 rant on about it, but the main issue with champions in this game was keeping them alive. You cannot, for the life of me, tell you that, tell me that this guy. Well, you gotta get to the second upgrade. Well, fuck that. I'm not gonna go to beat Daedalus just to make my champion worthwhile. That's the reason why Tethys got, you know, buffed. That's the reason Hellhorn Prince got buffed or Hornbreaker Prince got buffed. I get it. It's it. It just came out. They're still probably testing and rebalancing things. This guy is terrible. I hate him. I don't want to play as him. Uh, we'll be back to test out the new Little Fade, who we've already used the alternate abilities of, uh, the, the reforms. We've already used those, but I can't wait to see what the Little Fade's abilities are, because I do like melting, and uh, hopefully... It's a bit different than the Rector Flicker. Hopefully she is a bit, or she or he, is a bit of a, a weirdo. But we'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, of course, you know what to do. Leave a like and, of course, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. Yeah.